Odoo is business management made so simple, a kid could explain it. Sometimes business software can't talk to other programs. But Odoo, funny word, has every program from CRM to HR to accounting in one platform. It should cost a lot, but it doesn't. So you should use Odoo because they save you money. Odoo makes a lot of sense, but doesn't cost a lot of sense. Sign up now at Odoo.com. That's O-D-O-O dot com. Good job. Thanks. Want to add some thrill to your chill? Cocoa Beach on Florida's Space Coast has it all. With miles of open beach and easy access to the Banana River and Indian River Lagoon, Cocoa Beach is your outdoor playground. Surf, foil, kite surf, jet ski, paddleboard, kayak, water ski. If you can do it in a bathing suit, you can do it on Cocoa Beach. Dive into the adventurous side of Cocoa Beach at legendarycocobeach.com. How are you feeling? I'm okay. A little banged up, but I mean, it's the name of the game, playing offensive line, going against Dick, so you know what happens. You were trying to talk your way into team drills today. <laughs> I mean, in my, what, eight-year career, so five minutes a day at training camp, so I was going to come out here like, either way and try to do the most I could. Did they tell you just, no, you can't practice yet? It was, it was more so just, like, do as much as I can, um, you know, not, not try to piss it off and just... I said, just go out there and do what I can and just be out there with my teammates and instead of just staying inside and okay. trying to do nothing, honestly. What happened on the play? Just take I was trying to cut off, and I, Dex thought that he was being trapped, so he obviously lowered his shoulder and just so happened to be my lowered his shoulder into my ribcage. So it wasn't the funnest of um, pains I've had to deal with, but it was, I mean, I'm out here today, so that's what really matters. What do you like to take a body shot from Dex? No fun. No fun at all. It's I, not the funnest of things I've had to deal with. Are your ribs intact? Yeah. Is there any break? Does nah, break? luckily. Not, it's just a really bad bruising, so nothing that should keep me out for too long. Hopefully I can get back out there real soon. When did you find out you are going to be playing right tackle? Um, shoot, same time y'all did. So, what was your reaction? Like I said, I'm willing to do whatever I need to for the team. I, I'm really happy to be here, so I told Dave's and Joe when I came here, wherever they need me is where I'm going to play, so it's another day. Did you spend the, you mentioned you were going to spend kind of the off season or the summer working at left guard. Mm -hmm. Is that what you did or did you do some right tackle work? Yeah, I mean, I just stayed at left guard because that's where I was playing. And then when they told me where I, like, I was moving over there, I just made sure to get some sets in pre-practice because, you know, I played the last two years, so it's not something new to me. It's something I'm used to. So it's just really just knocking some of the rust off. And so it was cool. I was going to say, how much of an adjustment period, if any, has there been to going back to playing right tackle? Not, not much because I try to learn every position on the offensive line, like when it comes to schematics and stuff like that. So. You know, if I ever had to, because I've had to move around my entire career, I don't want to be caught off guard with anything. So I try to learn every single position other than center. So I know what I'm doing. And that's just what I've been doing this camp and June OTA. So it wasn't too much of a difference for me. So you're obviously at right tackle now. Do you like shift your focus and that's where you're preparing to play? Or do you have to kind of keep both options open in your mind? Yeah, I mean, like I said, whatever Dave's and Joe need me to do for the team, I'll do it. So my entire career, I've been moving around. And you know, last year, I had to move to left tackle from right tackle on, to, uh, on two days notice. So it's something I pride myself in and I'm able to do on a, like two, three days notice. So it's nothing that will affect me in the future if anything else happen. When you were hurt yesterday, did it feel like you had the wind knocked out of you or was it just pain or what? Everything. <laughs> it's a big man hitting you. It's like you get hit by a truck. Yeah, so you walk off the field, you were like this and I was thinking yeah. shoulder or? No, yeah, definitely my ribs. Definitely my ribs. Could not breathe too well. Um, but like I said, when you're going against a big man like that, you're going to take a hit or two, and you, know, you just got to get back up and keep going. Did you think you broke your ribs? I was dead. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm <playing. laughs> nah, I, It was painful, let's just say that. I didn't I didn't know. I mean, I don't really know how to diagnose injuries and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. But it, it just sucked. It wasn't fun. I mean, you were a guy who was been pretty vocal about how happy you were, how excited you were. Mm -hmm. You tweeted out. You know, most excited I've ever been for training camp. 100. What, what's running through your mind as you're you know, walking back into this facility yesterday? I was just excited to be here. You know, um, it's been the best offseason of my career, just mentally and physically. You know, 
it's nice being somewhere like this where you have everything going for you and you know the team's great, the coaches are great, the management's great. And like I said, I'm just really excited to be here because I've always wanted to play for this team. But the fear of having to leave the practice field and go back in injured, I'm mm -hmm. sure that was not. It wasn't too bad of a feeling just because I knew I felt like it wasn't anything too serious. And I mean, there's nothing that's going to keep me out for too long here. You know, like I said, I want to be here and I want to be playing and I do everything I have to to get back on the field. Being able to observe a little more today, how would you assess, you know, where the offense is at at this starting point? Exactly where every other offense is um, day two of training camp. You know, I feel like every single team is trying to figure out their identity, and it doesn't matter if you won the Super Bowl last year or you went on 16. You're trying to figure out what you're going to do for this upcoming season to, you know, separate yourself from the others. So, you know, we're in the same place everyone else is right now, which is just trying to figure it all out and just just get going. Thank you. Did you uh, tell Dex he's going to have some payback? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, we'll put pads on next week, and I'm definitely going to be out there for that, so it's going to be fun. What do you view as realistic expectation of this offense? Just to be, well, I mean, we can be as good as we want to be, and I guess I'm excited to be in it because, you know, you have a bunch of young receivers. You have Dev back there. Um, you know, our tight end room is a really good room, in my opinion. And like I said, I think it can be a real explosive offense as long as we do what we need to do. And, you know, the offensive line does their jobs and everyone else around them will do their jobs too. So, like I've been saying, I'm really excited to be a part of this team. Is that kind of what stands out to you? One of the things is that you do have, so you do have a lot of speed in, in, in that offense in regards to some of the playmakers. Yeah, it's cool because all of them, I, I know I'm not a big 40 guy, but I'm sure they all ran really fast 40s. Um, but you, you ever know, run a fast 40? I tried. <laughs> I tried my best, you know, but they don't judge me on my 40 time. So, you know, it was too big of a thing for me. But, you know, neighbors, um, Jalen, Wondell, Slate, like that's a really solid like, neighbor. So that's a great group of guys on there. And, you know, if we get them time, which we will, that will they do they do a lot of damage this year, so I'm excited to be a part of that. When you were out there on that farm today, what were you two discussing? We were just talking about like assignment, uh, making sure I knew what I was doing and just my like little opinions on things and what I would do differently in certain situations and um, like blocking assignments because you know I'm just having to refresh everything now I'm back at tackle and like I said I've learned it but it's just more so me just asking him little schematic things and him telling me the answers and just going back and forth. You recruiting Van Roten at all? <laughs> that's not my that's not my job. I'm here to play football, so you know whatever they want to do and whoever they want to bring in, that's on them. So I'll play with whoever I have to. Welcome to Cocoa Beach, Orlando's closest beach. Don't miss the boat. Cocoa Beach is your getaway to an awesome cruise vacation with a variety of hotels and shuttle packages catering to cruisers. Avoid the rush. Spend some time relaxing while you soak up the sun. Shop a little and enjoy our legendary laid-back beach vibe. So, what are you waiting for? Don't miss the boat. Vacation mode starts at Cocoa Beach on Florida's Space Coast, Orlando's closest cruise beach. State Farm and DJ Dramos from Life as a Gringo know making smarter financial moves today secures a financial freedom for a successful tomorrow. Tackle these situations in stride and, and yeah, of course, be annoyed when an unplanned expense comes up, but not let it be something that slows me down, right? As I did with repairing my credit, you know, hiring somebody to, to do credit repair for me. So that was a, a gift that I gave myself that allowed me to then, you know, get my first apartment. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm, proud sponsor of Michael Tura Podcast Network.